Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or indeed good evening, depending on your time zone and depending on when you are watching this. I'm James Innes and this is my YouTube show, The Jobs Guru. It is Tuesday, the 14th of July, 2020, Bastille Day in France. It's my first show of the week and I'm delighted to see you all here for today's episode. I extend a very warm welcome to all those who have subscribed since the last episode. And if you haven't yet subscribed, then please do think about subscribing so you don't miss out on the next episode. Today, I shall be embarking upon a regular Tuesday series of valuable interview advice, maybe for the next uh, six to eight weeks, I reckon, starting with a discussion of the importance of researching and how to research both the job and the organisation. If you have any questions or comments as you watch, then do please type them into that comments section below. And if you like what you see, then do please hit that YouTube thumbs up. So the key to preventing pre-interview jitters is to prepare yourself thoroughly. We fear what we don't know and what we can't control, yet there's so much you can do to plan and prepare for your interview. Interviews are often seen as a grueling experience, but they really shouldn't be. In most cases, you'll be notified that you've got through to the interview stage at least a few days in advance. You can use this time to prepare, and the better prepared you are, the fewer your reasons to be nervous. First item on your list should be to thoroughly uh, research the job in question and the organisation to which you are applying. An interviewer would expect you to have done your homework on the organisation and the job role that you are applying for. Seems obvious, so, 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 so few people actually do it. A very large proportion of the questions you can expect to be asked will be designed to determine your understanding of what the job will entail, your suitability for fulfilling the demands of the job, your interest, enthusiasm, and motivation, and last, but often more, most importantly, whether or not you are a good fit for the organization based on its values, ethos, etc. If you haven't prepared and cannot adequately answer these questions, it's going to be a big black mark on your application, as in straight in the bin. So here's where you should be looking and what you should be looking for. Number one, go over the job advert description and or person specification thoroughly and see how your CV compares try to identify both how and why you are the best possible match. Two, check out the LinkedIn profiles of the organization and some of its key figures, as well as, if at all possible, the person currently doing the job that you're applying for. Their words can be so much more insightful than company-generated HR department-style job descriptions, which often bear little relevance to, or to the actual job in question. Three, study the company's website where you can read all about their background, structure, products, services, etc. Some will even list biographical details of key employees and maintain archives of press releases, uh, provide downloadable financial accounts, etc. The more research, the merrier, quite honestly. Obviously, I know time is limited, but really, if you really want the job, you need to put in the time for it. Number four, where possible, visit any premises that your prospective employer has open to the public. For example, a branch on the high street. Go along, check them out. If you're applying to work for a, a major retail chain and haven't set foot inside one of its shops, I'm sure you can see how this might be a problem. Besides researching the organisation itself, you should also try to understand the, the environment in which it operates. Okay, so again, the internet is a valuable resource. However, um, there's other sources too, specialist trade journals, for example. They can yield a wealth of useful information. Spread the net wide. So what industry or sector does your organization operate within? Um, how is that industry or sector currently evolving? Who are the main players within the industry or sector? Get to see the bigger picture. If you spend time doing this research, you're not only going to impress the interviewer with your efforts, but you should also feel much more confident. Fear of the unknown is a powerful fear. The more you know about your prospective employer and the type of person they hire, the less nervous you'll be during the interview. Now that you've got all this information at your fingertips, what do you do with it? Well, you should use it to prepare answers to potential questions you might be asked. But remember, interviews are, are just as much about why you are a right fit for the company as whether the company or job is right for you. So also use this information to prepare some questions that you might ask the interviewer. That's very important. Keep in mind, what does this organization have to offer me? Are they the right employer for me? And will there be sufficient opportunities for career progression? Very important one and often overlooked. 
So now, we're not far from the end of today, so I'll be back tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Um, remember, this show is Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, and Thursday, each and pretty much every week. I may take Christmas off then again, I may not. Just two more things. First, I must squeeze in some routine, but important requests. Do please check me out on social media and connect, follow, or otherwise stalk me, but please don't troll me. Life is just too short for trolls, and nobody likes them. If you have any questions or comments about this episode, about the show in general, indeed about life, the universe, and um, how children manage to break the unbreakable, whatever, then do please let me have them in the comment section below. If you liked this episode, then do please hit it with YouTube. Thumbs up. Think about subscribing, maybe. Um, and if you do subscribe, then look, new bell. I still got the other one. It's not like the children actually broke it, but I just thought, you know, variety is the spice of life. Um, ring that bell so that you receive automatic notifications and don't miss out on the next episode. If you've already done all of that, then of course, thank you. Now, finally, what's happening in the next episode? Well, tomorrow I'm going to be tackling a question from one of my viewers and also looking at an interview question. Namely, why is water tasteless? Crikey. Answers on a postcard, please. I do hope you'll tune in. Thank you for watching today. Keep safe and be well, my friends. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>